Okay, so today we're going to learn how to use the accelerometers with the modular DAX. So first things first, you're going to open Lab View. You're going to open a new VI, a blank VI, by hitting the shortcut Control N. Then you're going to right click and you're going to insert a DAC assistant like we always do. Then you're going to go to Acquire Signal, Analog Input, Voltage. And you're going to select the channel. So right now I'm only going to do one accelerometer at the moment. Leave the min and max the same and you're going to use differential. Hit OK. Then you're going to create controls for your rate, your number of samples, and then also your timeout in seconds. Then go ahead and uh, organize everything a little bit so you can see what's connecting to what clearly. And then the output of this we're going to go ahead and just create a plot uh, for voltage. So. I'm going to go ahead and put in um, raw seller and the name didn't change on the front panel so I'm just going to change it on the front panel as well raw accelerometer voltage and you can see that it's narrow here so what we can do is not showing the whole thing so I can drag it out so it shows the whole thing so now this is the basic VI I'm just reading the raw voltage from the accelerometer and I can control the number of samples and the timeout in seconds now what we want to do is we want to be able to convert that raw voltage directly to acceleration in meters per second squared now in order to do that you need to look on the front of the calibration data card on the accelerometer itself so this is an example accelerometer calibration card and you can see here the sensitivity value this is what converts the voltage to grit to G's and G's is 1 G is gravitational force is 1 G so that's 9.81 now if you notice below the sensitivity in parentheses it tells you the conversion for meters per second squared instead of G's and you can see here it's 10.41 millivolts per meter per second squared so what we need to do is we need to take this millivolts, convert it to voltage, and divide that value by the voltage being read from the DAC and outputted through this data line. So we're going to go ahead and right click. We're going to insert under express arithmetic numeric. We're going to insert divide by. We're going to connect the first part of that to the data coming in from the DAC. And then we're going to create a constant here and we're going to put in our sensitivity value that is for converting voltage to meters per second squared directly so what I'm going to do is go ahead and put in this 10.41 I'm going to convert that to volts so that's 0 0.01041 so I'm going to go ahead and type that in I'm going to minimize my front panel so I can see the picture of it now keep in mind, each of the accelerometers have its own cal calibration curve, calibration data on the front. So you got to use a sensitivity value that's on the front of it. So you see here that this has got this specific value. If you look at another accelerometer, it's going to have a slightly different value. So you got to use each value specific to that accelerometer itself. So go ahead and we're going to type in 0 0.01041. And that's going to now have an output of acceleration itself. So I'm going to go to my front panel and I'm going to insert another waveform graph and I'm going to say acceleration in meters per second squared. So this plot is going to be our acceleration directly. So this is going to read the voltage and then this is converting it to the acceleration in the proper units. So again we're going to not use this millivolt per G for sensitivity but we'll rather use millivolt per meters per second squared because that comes into acceleration units very easily to use so we'll use that 
Now that we have our accelerometer converted and inserted in LabVIEW, we're going to go ahead and create a merge signal. We're going to save our raw data as usual. And then we're going to merge the output of that. So now that we converted it, we're going to go ahead and merge the signals together. We're going to save our raw data just in case something happens. And then we're going to save our actual acceleration data. And we're going to name those signals. So we're going to go ahead and stick in. I'm going to make the block diagram a full view. We're going to go ahead and insert our set attributes so we can set the attributes of it. And we need signal name and index. So we're going to create a control, create a constant for the name, create a constant for the index. So the first channel is going to be our accelerometer. So we can say raw, or the first channel is zero. And the name of that is going to be raw accelerometer voltage. And we're going to connect our output of our merge to it. And then we're going to go ahead and copy this and paste it for our second channel. And then we're going to name this channel 1. And we're going to say it's going to be acceleration and meters per second squared, so we know what units. Then we're going to go ahead and insert our right to measurements file. And we're going to do the typical setup, use next available file name, one column channel for time only. And we'll do our typical LVM. Hit OK. Then we're going to connect that to the output of the naming. Shift this over a little bit. We're going to create our typical controls for enable. Our file name out. Our saved data indicator and our file name out indicator. And then I'll go ahead and rearrange this so that we can see where everything's coming from. And let me make it a little bit more organized and clean up this wire and then move all this over. So this is the basic VI for collecting acceleration from an accelerometer. Now this is only for one accelerometer. If you want to do two accelerometers, we can do an extra channel. And you go into your DAC. You add another voltage channel. And say it's hooked up to AI, AI1. And you insert it and hit OK. Then you go out of your DAC again. And now we got to fix the merge. So we got to split our signals first coming out of our DAC before we can manipulate each one individually. So we're first going to split our signal. And then we're going to go ahead and delete this line to the accelerometer raw voltage plot. And I'm going to leave the raw voltage plot there. And it'll show the raw voltage of both accelerometers in one plot. I'm going to also delete this wire from the acceleration plot. And I'm going to move this down here. And I'm going to go ahead and clean up this wire. Mm -hmm. We got to add one more merge into this for the second accelerometer. And now I'm going to move the acceleration plot here and connect it again. And now we're going to copy both acceler acceleration and the division and the constant for the second channel. And then let me reorganize this so we can see everything better. So now I'm going to connect the top part of the division for this first one to the first channel. And then I'm going to collect the second part to the second channel. And then this is going to be a different value. So let's say it's a hundred let's say 
on the the card it says 10.5 so I'm gonna make it instead of 0, 04 I'm gonna say 0, 05 and now I'm gonna hit control B to get rid of all the broken cables I'll move the acceleration plot up here so I'm able to see everything better and then I'll move this stuff up a little bit to reorganize it and make it neater and go ahead and clean up this wire for acceleration and move acceleration up a little bit and then I'll put this acceleration down here I'll go ahead and clean up this wire so to clean up a wire you can select that individual wire and hit clean and it will make it nice and neat and then the final thing I'm going to do is connect the second acceleration into our merge signal. So now the way that the signals work is we're getting both raw signals in, and then we have our corrected acceleration in meters per second here, and then we have our second acceleration in meters per second here. So now we can go to our front panel, reorganize it, and then this first one on here I'm going to say accelerate, acceler accelerometer 1. In meters per second. Well, accelerometer number one, let's say acceleration. And then I'm just going to copy this and make it the title for this uh, second one. And set a number one, I'm going to say number two. And if I make the front panel a full view, I can go ahead and move this right here and then move the raw acceleration voltage to uh, the right here a little bit and move my controls and then now I can take my file name out and move it down here make it bigger so I can see where it's saving take my savings data sign and my enable one put it next to each other take my file name out and put it on the top here so I can tell where it's going to go and I have my front panel all set up now so now I just got to finish naming the signals in our block diagram so now what we have here is we have our two signal channels of accelerometer voltage coming in first then we have accelerometer 1 accelerate and acceleration and accelerometer 2 acceleration so we gotta go ahead and create two more name blocks we're gonna go ahead and delete the wire going from that second one to the right to measurements file clean up the wires itself connect the second to the third name block and then the fourth to the right to measurements file and then we're going to change this index 0 here to 2 and then this index here to 3 and what we're going to do now is reorganize it a little bit so I can have some room to type in names move my right to measurements file over here and move this over here clean up this wire And then this one here, I'm going to say accelerometer number one voltage. And then here I'm going to say accelerometer number two voltage. And then accelerometer number one acceleration meters per second squared and then here accelerometer number two acceleration and meters per second squared so now I've defined everything I need to to collect two separate channels of acceleration and save all that data in one right to measurements file with naming the columns of each of them to know what's going on and you can see the front panel has also been completed and up to date so this is how you set up LabVIEW to work with 
two accelerometers that we're using in the lab with the modular DAC, and that is it. So you can go ahead and save the file if you want on your desktop. And that's all you need to know.